So let's start with the J939 Technology Day of CIA. I'd like to welcome you all. The uh, three hours online um, technology day will uh, give you an introduction to J939 and uh, also an outlook what is ongoing in this technology and whoever uh, is uh, using it and uh, how the different associations uh, dealing with J939 specifications uh, apply that what has been developed originally by SAE. I give you in the beginning a uh, first and short introduction into that and guide you through the um, technology day. My name is Holger Zellgranger. I'm an electronic engineer and I'm also the initiator of the nonprofit CIA organization, which is hosting this event. I'm a member of the CIA board of directors since 1992, and I have also some uh, tasks to do in different uh, standardization bodies like ISO, like IEC, DEAN, this is the German standardization body, and SAE for January 39, which will have the next meeting next week. So I have different hats. And uh, depending on what you're asking, you will get an answer from me. Maybe it's more from the uh, perspective of CIA, from ISO, SAE, or DEAN, which is uh, one of the later um, presentations I'm giving in the late afternoon here. Just uh, that you are all aware what we are talking about today. In the moment, we are in the welcome and overview. And Thilo Schumann from CIA give you a short introduction into the J939 protocols. Peter Felmet from Vector is then going in some details of the J93922, which is the CANFD adaptation. Uh, and this document has been uh, published recently. During the break, I will give you uh, some information on the CIA organization. Um, and the same will be done by uh, Rosanna Rubin, and she will also uh, give you some additional information. After the short break, then we have the ISOBUS uh, specification, which will be explained by Peter Felmet again. He is from Vector. And then at the end of the meeting of the conference, we will have a Dean 4630, which is the standardized K network for bodybuilders, which is based also on J939. Uh, which I will explain a little bit more. And then we're also talking about at the end on other J939 based solutions, which you may be interested in. Whenever you have questions, please use the chat and uh, somebody from CA will take care that this is then summarized. And so that we can have at the end uh, after each presentation, maybe some round of uh, explanations on answers to your questions. Let's go first to the history of JN39. Originally, controller area network was not mentioned in the first uh, JN39 documents. In 1994, when the first document was released or the first documents was released, the J9039-21 recommended practice for commercial vehicles can was introduced in the J9039 protocol. This were the days when there was uh, requested to have a 29-bit identifier. And uh, this was then implemented in all the different uh, CAN controllers afterwards. The J9039-21 higher layer protocols require their 29-bit identifier. This was uh, mandatory. And this is some maybe some thing what we heritage from the uh, former uh, SAE J1708 document where we have a source and destination addresses. The 29-bit identifier, this contains uh, also the um, 16 bits identifying the content of the CAN data field. And you know that the CAN data field has eight bytes. And Thilo will give his, in his presentation a little bit more information about that. This is normally referenced as the PGN, the parameter group number. Parameter group number is not the parameter group. I will explain this several times. So because this is sometimes not always used in the documents in that way. SAE J939 
can be considered as the replacement of the older SIE J1708 and SIE J1587 specifications. There are a lot of J1939 based documents in the meantime. This is of course first the series provided by the SIE and this uh, has general and specific recommended practices uh, included and was published, as I said, from 1994. And today we have multiple uh, documents available. And um, there's uh, also the digital annex, which is uh, published quarterly with new parameters and new um, parameter groups. The first adapter was uh, the ISO 11780 three series, also known as ISOBUS standard for agriculture and forestry machine. This is managed by the ISO Technical Committee 23, subcommittee 19. There's another document which also uh, provides uh, J1939 based uh, uh, parameter and parameter groups. This is the ISO 16844 series describing the tachograph used in uh, commercial vehicles. This is managed by ISO Technical Committee 22, Subcommittee 31. The same group also um, manages the ISO 11992 series, which is the truck trailer network. This is a point to point communication between truck and trailer and uses a specific physical layer. We will come to that. There's also in another ISO technical committee and 127 for earth moving machines, a series under development, which uh, provides collision warning and avoidance for earth moving machines. A completely different application field is covered by the IEC 611.62-3 document, which is also known as NEMA 2000 for marine applications. And this is done in the IEC technical committee 80. There's also some other IEC group, which uh, this is the Technical Committee 69, which specifies uh, um, the communication between a battery and the charger. And in, in the series 61851, there is one charging protocol based on the, on the Chinese standard, which is based on J1939. What we also have is the fleet management system. This is by the uh, ACEA Association. This is the European Association of uh, Car Makers. And they have uh, specified a fleet management system also based on J1939. Quite new uh, developments are in the German um, standardization body in DIN. This is 4630. This is the bodybuilder network. And uh, we have also an, another uh, group in DEAN, which deals with um, firefighting equipment. And they have also specified a vehicle gateway in DEAN 14704, which is based on DEAN 40, 4630. I will report this at the end of the um, conference. Uh, I will report this in more detail. That's just to get an overview that uh, the J1939 Standard is widely used in completely different application fields. How fits the J1939 and the OSI reference model? OSI stands for Open System Interconnections. You see that uh, we have the seven layers and above we have something what is outside of the OSI reference model, but this is also standardized and specified by uh, different um, bodies, including SAE. And this is, so to say, describing the content of the data. And uh, this is not uh, just uh, that we specify containers, like in the OCA reference model. There we have really then the data specified. The J1939 committee, who is responsible for all the J1939 documents, they have not followed the OC reference model completely. Sometimes in some documents are different uh, layers covered and specified. So it's a little bit confusing and the naming is also sometimes confusing. 
for example, the J939 data link layer document, this mainly uh, specifies the transport layer and the application layer and not the data link layer because the data link layer is originally standardized in ISO 11898-1. Nevertheless, uh, also the uh, J939 follows by some means the OZ reference model to explain how the communication is organized. So terminology is also historically not always consistent. One example is the term PGN, the parameter group number. It is often used as synonym for the parameter group and this is already in the documents, in the specifications. So don't be confused. We try to avoid this and to improve the documents from SAE, but we, have, we are not ready. Still, there are sometimes uh, the term PGN, but what is really meant is the parameter group, because the PGN is not the message, but just a uniquely assigned number identifier for the parameter group. The same issue we have with the SPN, the suspect parameter number, and the suspect parameter. Also, in this presentation could be that we have sometimes old laboratory slang used instead of the more correct uh, terms as uh, described here. The parameter group itself is an entity of the OSI application layer. It is not a frame, because this frame is an entity of the data link layer or a segment, which is an entity of the transport layer. The parameter group is a message identified by the PGN. Maybe this is to summarize what you need to know uh, to, under, to follow the presentation. <laughs> 